It's no surprise that being an orthopaedic exit exam that you need to know bone pretty well. And when you get asked a question on bone, think have a structure in place. So think about the function of bone, the composition of bone, the macroscopic and microscopic structure of bone, and then this will lead on to how bone remodels and even how bone heals. So first of all, if you talk about the function of bone, so bone is a solid organ. It's a highly specialized um, connective tissue and really largely has three main functions. Firstly, it's the largest reservoir of calcium and phosphate in the body and is really important in calcium homeostasis. And there's a separate video on um, how, how this occurs. Um, it also has a uh, hematopoiesis role um, in the bone marrow, it's, uh, it's how red cells, leukocytes and um, platelets are made. And it also has a protective and mechanical function. And it allows uh, tendons to attach onto the bone uh, to allow for locomotion. So when you now think about the composition of bone, um, think of it in, in a hierarchy. So first of all, if you have bone at the top, um, is composed of cells, which is approximately 10%, and extracellular matrix, the other 90%. The cells, the vast majority of the cells are osteocytes, and uh, this is approximately 90%. And the other 10% are made up of osteoblasts, osteoclasts, osteoprogenitor cells, and bone lining cells, and that's the other 10%. In the extracellular matrix, you have an inorganic extracellular matrix and an organic extracellular matrix. The organic is approximately 40%, inorganic 60%. Your inorganic extracellular matrix is largely calcium phosphate, or more commonly known as um, hydroxyapatite. Okay, so that's your hydroxyapatite. Your organic matrix is made up of collagen, and we know that in bone it's mainly type 1 collagen, and that's approximately 90%. And the other 10% is made up of your proteoglycans, other proteins, and some growth factors. So that's your other 10%. So this is largely what you're going to draw out for, for your examiner. So then you move on to the macroscopic and microscopic structure of bone. So think of it as um, the, the macroscopic structure first. So it can either be um, divided largely into woven bone, which we know is your immature kind, and the reason it's immature uh, is because it, it doesn't contain any lamellae, which is what happens when bone starts to remodel. Um, and, and therefore, when you have woven immature bone, it is, it is purely an isotropic uh, material, so that it has the same biomechanical properties uh, in whatever direction of force or load is placed upon it. Then you have your mature lamella bone, now, lamella bone, which is mature, can consist of two types. It can either be cortical or cancellous. Now, your cortical or compact bone is more dense, it's less porous, approximately 5% porosity compared to 30 to 50% porosity of that of cancellous bone. Um, it, is much, it has much more structural integrity. However, cancellous bone or trabecular bone um, has uh, a much more honeycomb appearance, um, is less dense, less structural integrity, but it has eight times that uh, more uh, of metabolic activ uh, activity compared to uh, cortical bone. Now, this is where you can bring in some uh, diagrams uh, explaining the structure of bone. So if you have cortical bone up here and cancellous bone up here. We, we already said that cortical bone is much more compact um, and it's, it's usually arranged in, in osteons. So 
An osteon consists of a central perversion system, which contains the neurovascular bundle in here. And you have six or seven concentric lamella rings, which form around this central perversion system. And these lamella rings form along lines of stress and they contain collagen fibers. And the collagen fibers are arranged in almost like a, a herringbone pattern. So one ring will have collagen fibers running this way, and in this ring, they'll run the other direction, if that, if that makes sense. So these osteons, you have them side by side, okay? And the outermost ring is what we call the cement line. And the cement line is, is a area of weakness and where fractures can propagate because the cement line is where no collagen fibers cross. So it represents an area of weakness. These osteons are approximately 50 microns in diameter. And as I said, the central portion is a herversion system which contains the artery, the vein and, and, and the nerves. And this is a high pressure system of, of blood flow. So this is where it gets their blood supply from. Perpendicular to this, you have separate channels. And this is, these are your Volkmann's channels or Vol Volkmann's canals, which are low pressure. So high pressure in the middle and low pressure on the periphery. So you can say that the blood flow is from in to out or centrifugal in nature. That's the direction of blood flow. Within these concentric lamella rings, you can get osteocytes which are trapped. And, um, and when they're trapped, they, uh, they, they, they basically lay down the mineralized content of the bone and they communicate with each other through structures called cannuliculi. And, and that's how they communicate each other to maintain their kind of local environment. So this is, this is compact bone or cortical bone. If you then move on to cancellous bone, macroscopically, it is much more porous. So it's almost arranged like a, like a honeycomb, uh, like a 3D lattice, like, like a honeycomb. But if you look into each part of this honeycomb and go microscopically, it still is arranged through concentric rings of lamella with trapped osteocytes, like cortical bone, with cannuliculi as well, like cortical bone. However, the main difference is that it does not have a central haversion system. Then the next question may uh, follow that, well, how does bone remodel uh, or heal, in fact? So this is where you lead on to draw a cutting cone. So, so first of all, you draw something like this, and then you can draw another line within it, and then a further line within that. And here, you draw two dark areas. And then what you have here is, is, is the front of your cutting cone, and it's cutting in this direction and you largely have three areas of your cutting cone. So first of all, the, the front is your cutting zone. The middle is your reversal zone. And then right at the back is your closing zone. And the, the reason this is important is because you have different types of cells depending on which zone you're in. So we know that the front of the cutting cone is largely headed by osteoclasts. So remember, these are your multinucleated giant cells from the macrophage lineage, um, which resorb bone, and they resorb that way. So in the reversal zone, you mainly have osteoblasts, and the osteoblasts follow the osteoclasts, and what they do is that they start laying down 
new bone. In the closing zone, the, 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 the cell type that is predominant is your osteocytes or your bone lining cells. And these, are, these actually are derived from osteoblasts and they tend to lay down osteoid and then eventually behind it, it'll start to become min mineralized bone. So this is your mineralized bone. So in the center of it all, you have your Haversian system, which follows the direction of your cutting cone. So this contains your neurovascular bundle. So that's your Haversian system. So, so this is a, a cutting cone and, and um, this is how uh, bone eventually remodels and it remodels uh, along lines of force. And if you were to take a cross section of the mature area of the, of the cutting cone, you'll then get back to the previous image that you drew. So the previous image of your osteon. So you've taken a, a cross section of essentially what is your cutting cone and that's and that's, that's how it happens. This will then lead nicely on to how does uh, bone heal? And then you can start talking about primary bone healing. And this is how primary bone healing happens via cutting cones. Then you can talk about um, secondary bone healing with the stages of bone healing and then leading on to Perrin's strain theory.